I have a lot more questions than answers right now. Hello friends, my name is Random Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to another episode of BuzzFeed Bunk. Yes, we uh, had some good responses on the last episode, so I figured I'd come back, uh, harm my brain once more, digging through shitty BuzzFeed articles, which really all of them are shitty in their own separate way. But uh, I'm, I'm looking for the cream of the crop, or the bottom of the bottom, I guess, would be the, uh, the more accurate terminology. Anyways, today, the 50 worst things on the internet in 2017. Yes, it was a great year for terrible things. This post is not safe for work, and NSFL, which I assume is not safe for life, because probably after all this, uh, you're gonna want to kill yourself. So buckle in, strap down, uh, get ready for some some terrible, terrible BuzzFeed reporting. So the first thing we have up is this playlist, Furry Confession uh, playlist on Spotify. Basically, uh, the titles of some songs spell out very cryptic message, or not so cryptic, I guess. I wanna fuck you, like an animal. Specifically, Garfield. So, bend over, and repeat after me, I don't like Mondays. And I've never really heard any of those songs, never really heard any of those artists except for Ed Sheeran. Um, but yeah, it's clever, at the very least. He could have gone Nine Inch Nails and done I Wanna Fuck You Like an Animal all in one song, but that would have reduced the amount of songs in the playlist, and aren't we here for the playlist? Or we're just here to, to make funny things. Search up silly phrases on Spotify and make a playlist out of it. Um, I don't think anybody really has a Garfield fetish, but... You know, it's good for the lulls. I think anybody taking it too seriously will probably be like, Oh, oh my god, Garfield, big orange butt, I don't like that. I don't know, if he took me out to a nice lasagna dinner, I'd think about it. Because <laughs> he loves lasagna. Ah. Next up we have Thick Mr. Krabs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is horrifying. It's fucking, uh, I think it's a peach. Or something like that, and it's just uh, a little bit malformed, but it looks like Mr. Krabs has a vagina or something like that. O obviously somebody just posted a, a nice little picture of a weird looking peach they found in their garden. Maybe they did thought it looked like a, a butt or something like that, but somebody decided to take it a, a step further, fucking shoop a Mr. Krabs over the top of it, and it definitely increases the, the disgustingness factor by uh, about tenfold. Which I think is the point of this list, so, so far this list is doing a very good job of, um, making me think that the internet needs to be shut down forever. <laughs> this inventive nipple piercing. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh, we started out not very strong, then the Mr. Krabs thing kinda got me. Uh, this is definitely a fucking new level, I can't even hardly look at it, it's like... Oh, Jesus. I think this would be a lot easier uh, to pull off if the dude was fatter, so uh, unless you like having your, your nips tweaked all the time, you gotta, you gotta grow some man boobs or something like that. That's the only way to fix this, and it's just, ah, oh, god it hurts to look at it, I can't, I can't anymore, I'm gonna look at what, what they're saying down here. Most of you will be aware that my two main interests are renaissance painting and extreme nipple piercing. I'd like to thank Derek at Bang Bang NYC for being so patient and gentle. The result is really touching. Well, almost. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, this goes a step further than the internet b needing to be shut down. This is like human life be needing to be uh, wiped off the planet after seeing this. I just... I can't anymore. And then it looks like little alien fingers because it's got hair coming out and like little pink weird nipple texture on the... On the fingertips, oh, god. <sighs> I hate it. I hate it more than anything we've seen so far. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to beat this one. This incredibly enthusiastic Hot Topic shopper. Oh, and it's a video, so I gotta, I gotta play this garbage. At my favorite place on Earth, Hot Topic at the Queen Center Mall. Okay, that's not really, uh, that impressive. You did kind of make an ass out of yourself in public and, uh, announce to everybody that you're a corporate whore. 
Hot Topic's owned by The Gap, or some shit like that. This, this lady's excited to give her money away! Hooray! My favorite place on Earth. It's not Disneyland. It's not a, a cabin in the middle of the woods. It's Hot Topic in the middle of a, a shitty mall. So, a lot to learn in life, I would assume. And she's also got a plug for uh, Mother Contessa Cunt Mafia Studio. Uh, her album or some shit is coming out soon, which I really couldn't give less of a shit about, if you want me to be honest. I hope she's on the album cover, because then it'll be really easy to uh, build a cover up. This guy who transferred a Rainbow Dash figurine from one jar of cum to another larger jar of cum. I'm so scared to click on this. What I really like is that his uh, watch looks exactly like the clock in the background. I guess I do have to click it to see, to see exactly what we're dealing with here. I mean, I know what we're dealing with here. It says, but I guess I guess I'll have to look at it at some point. I'm so terrified. Oh, the music is classy though. I do appreciate that. Here we go. Where is it? Which jar is it in? The little, tiny one? Is he gonna combine both of them together? In addition, why has he been saving his cum in jars? I mean, I pee in soda bottles sometimes. Sometimes. If I'm lazy to go downstairs. But coming in a jar, it's a new level, dude. <laughs> you can just, like, come in a sock or something? Like a human? Oh, God. Just imagine the smell when he opens this fucking thing. You gotta be rancid, right? His hands are shaking, too. He doesn't want to touch his own cum. He knows it's disgusting. Oh, Lord. Please don't do this. <laughs> it's all watery and gloopy. And it's kind of a weird color as well. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I'm literally having to fight back a gag reflex. Ah. Oh god. I'm gonna need a shower after this. This is so fucking foul. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. And he's like holding his breath too. You can hear it right there, he's like, ugh! You know that shit smells horrible. Oh my god. What is that he's pouring into it? It's more? He was just saving it in a little vial? That takes some self-control if you could just shoot it into a little vial. I'm impressed about that part. You can hear this guy's breath, he totally like... It's probably the foulest smelling thing on Earth. Oh, God. I don't understand it, nor do I really want to. Jesus. Poor Rainbow Dash. <laughs> and this poor fellow! You know, this is what he does with his days. He comes into a mason jar that has a My Little Pony in it. Oh god. What is life anymore? Oh lord. And then he's like, here, look at the residue. Look at these children that will never be born. Also, the time is 1.35. I don't know anything anymore. Oh, that really, really tore me up. <laughs> that was a bad one. <sighs> We spent too much time on it already, um, so we gotta, we gotta, we gotta move along. We gotta move right on down to this ad for an egg freezing company. Maximizing your fe fertility potential. And it's a woman, uh, basically straddling a dog. Which, I don't know if this is a human or an animal fertility clinic. Maybe it's related to what we just saw and it's disgusting furry trash. I mean, somebody's making good money off that. Fertility clinics are big money, and they're probably the only one of their kind that will uh, inseminate dogs with human sperm or vice versa. My mother sent me this image from an egg freezing company 
in her research area with the subject line, Am I alone and thinking this is a bit off? Your mother's definitely right on point. This is really unfortunate marketing, I think. Maybe they're just putting it out there so people will talk about it. In that case, it's working. I mean, this doesn't make anyone want to want to go there. <laughs> I can't imagine the person. Probably uh, Whitney, Wisconsin, if you know who that is. It's that girl that talks about sucking her dog's dick or whatever. But aside from her, she's the one customer and everybody else just kind of uh, tilts their head like a confused dog and goes, what the fuck am I looking at? Yeah, it's definitely not as bad as, as Rainbow Dash in a Jar of Cum or Mr. Krabs fucking... Thick Mr. Krabs or what was the other one, damn it? That's right, the nipple piercing. The nipple piercing disturbed me in, in many ways. So I think my ranking so far is... Uh, Jar of cum, nipple piercing, thick Mr. Krabs, uh, and then this egg freezing thing, which kind of is alluding to bestiality, but yeah. I think it's just bad marketing. Somebody on the marketing team was uh, fucking retarded or something. I don't know. Menstrual cup head. Well, uh, I can, I guess, see where you're going with this. It's, it's Cuphead, but he's filled with menstrual blood. It's not really that uh, shocking or interesting. Anybody with half a brain cell or two brain cells to rub together probably could have figured this one out. I'm not really disturbed or shocked by it. Cuphead is an awesome game, though. And if you haven't watched my playthrough, shameless plug, I think you should uh, search up that Dayton Does Cuphead. But yeah, as for uh, being a shocking or disgusting or worse thing on the internet, this is, this is not one of them. Come on. Try harder, BuzzFeed. Number 8, Smash Mouth enthusiastically supporting the giving of oral sex. Uh, okay, hey, Smash Mouth, I had oral sex with my girlfriend last night while listening to All Star. And he's like, you gave it? And he's like, hell yeah, and then Smash Mouth is like, good dude. Wh what's wrong with this exchange? I don't understand. Probably he shouldn't have asked if he gave or received. That makes it a little bit weird. But otherwise, um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go down, uh, do what you do what you like, do what your lady likes, you know? Everybody's gonna get theirs, and Smash Mouth knows how it is. You know, you can't be a, a selfish dick. You wanna be an all-star? Get down there. <laughs> hey now. Started this list out pretty strong, but lost steam pretty quick, and they put fucking 50 of these things on here, so... I, I assume by the end we're just gonna be like, eh, meh, whatever. They, they top-loaded this list, for sure. By the time we get down to number 50, it's gonna be like, Honey Nut Oatmeal Flavors! It's like, well, is that really that bad? It's not as good as Honey Banana, but come on, man. <laughs> masking, number 9. Someone just told me about a fetish called masking, where people make female celebrities look like the mask. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, I don't think it's a sexual fetish. I've heard of a, a fetish where people like to wear masks of different celebrities, like latex masks of the celebrity, or have their partner wear a latex mask of that celebrity. And then, you know, you can either pretend that you are them, or pretend that you're with them. As for just photoshopping a green face, fucking putting a green tint on their face, that's, that's kind of retarded. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, none of these really do look like the mask, except for Sarah Jessica Parker. That shit is <laughs> insanely disturbing. Her face is already, like, pretty gross, but to, to give it that fluorescent coloring like the mask is uh, a new level of disturbing. So good job, Sarah Jessica Parker. Your, your face is one of the worst things on the internet. Uh, as for the, the fetish itself, definitely not. Not worth mentioning, but hey, we had to get 50 things for this fucking list, so we, we gotta top load this shit. We gotta get it going. Number 10, these tiny hands and what they're doing. What are these tiny hands doing? I watched this video once and I wasn't impressed. <laughs> it's like a puppet or something like that. And then he's like rubbing his little puppet dick, which um, I guess is kind of kind of weird in its own way. But for the size of that body, those hands look pretty large. If, if you wanna if you want to take things that way I don't really get this one again uh, this is just a terrible list all her, all their lists are terrible all their articles are terrible especially the ones that uh, 
don't recognize that they're terrible. This one, I think, does just a little bit recognize how, how stupid and inane that it is. Which kind of takes some of the, the fun out of my little my little commentary. Yeah, I don't think this is deserving of being called one of the worst things on the internet in 2017. It's like, who gives a shit, dude? This guy knows what he's doing. Look at his fucking screen name. Discreet 420 M seeking 69 M for vaping. Like, dude, that's that's the memeiest name ever. And this is just uh, a shit meme that you've you've given more attention than it deserves. This condom pancake. Yes, it's a pancake in a condom, I assume. I don't I don't know. Oh god, it's a six minute video. It's basically like how to basic, I guess. The editing's not as tight though. Oh, I like how he used a funnel, but didn't bother to get any of it uh, in the in the condom, really. Definitely don't edit any of this out. We need to see fucking everything. Everything! Look, I'm opening the box now. <laughs> he doesn't even open the box correctly. <laughs> He's handling that pancake powder quite poorly. <laughs> so you definitely don't want to put the pancake mix in uh, before the water. Because then you wouldn't get to uh, finger your pancake mix on camera. I'm not sure how this was discovered on the internet. What are the tags for this video? So, there it is. He's got his, uh, balloon full of pancake batter. It's not a balloon, it's a condom. Which is kind of a balloon. And then, and then he broke it. And now it's just spraying everywhere. I really don't get it. Okay, yeah, try it all again. Don't edit out the failed attempt. See, by the time this song is over, I'd expect the video to be over. But it's just not. It fucking keeps going. Okay, butter in the pan, and then balloon pancake condom in the pan. Great, awesome. I'm sure eventually it's gonna pop, but he's really trying to be like OMG XD so random, so he's putting like more goopy pancake batter. Probably the leftover... the leftover shavings from before. The reason that a channel like How to Basic is successful is because of the, uh... Extreme randomness and the tight editing. This video, however, is nothing like that. I knew exactly what to expect as soon as I clicked on it. I've gotten nothing except what I expect. And then, uh, he's just also tried to be kind of, kind of random about it. Oh my god, look, the condom popped. Who, who would have expected that? If you heat up latex, it would break. Fucking Pancake Master. And this video was sponsored by Mr. Mrs. Buttersworth, if you didn't realize that. We got the Mrs. Buttersworth box. We got the Mrs. Buttersworth syrup. It's, uh, the complete package. And then he's like, Oh my god, look, I'm trying to cut this condom with a knife, but it's it's a condom. It's, it's not gonna cut at all. Isn't that, oh my god, so funny? LOLs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you hate it, be sure to share it with people who would detest it as much as you in order to spread the suffering. Indifference is what I would give it. How to basic? That's the kind of stuff that makes me go, oh my god, that's terrible. I don't, I don't like that at all. Uh, it disturbs me in a way that I have not been disturbed. But this video is just really slow, boring, uh, I guess would be the, the main adjective I would use. Boring as fuck. So, nice try, being LOL XD so random. It's probably more successful than any of the YouTube videos I've done. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sink to this level. What the fuck was that? Yeah, it's at 21,000 views. Uh, my most successful video is maybe 7,000. So yeah, three times better than my most successful video. But yeah, could you live with yourself? <laughs> That's the main question. Could you wake up every morning and look in the mirror and know that you're the pancake condom guy on YouTube? No, you couldn't. At least I couldn't. And it seems like he's got a lot of other videos there. We got, uh, condom eggs and all kinds of stuff, but I'm... I'm not exposing myself to it. It's definitely not one of the worst things on the internet. This is just, uh, a boring pile of crap, as most of the list has been so far. Except for the... the two or three things that I mentioned before. The story of Garlic Cockman. Interesting. Uh, you can't just mention casually mention Garlic Cockman and not tell the story. That's against the law. It seems like a pretty long Tumblr post about a man with a, I don't know, a garlic cock, I guess? 
We'll have to give it a little read and see how it goes. Are you sure you know what you're asking of me? Are you sure? Well, okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. This post is long and contains description of genital injury. <laughs> That's always the way you want to start your stories. Hey, everybody! There's genital injury in this story. Stick around. <laughs> I'm excited! Alright, edge of my seat. So as you'll know, I worked three and a half long, hilarious years at NHS Sexual Health and Contraception Clinic. I loved that job. And packed it in because the Tory cuts to service meant running it became hideously untenably stressful. But that's a story for another time. Those damn Tories! Ooh! I don't know what they're talking about. British politics is not my forte. See Maybot Run if you want to hear more about that. Dude, I have so many chances for plugs in this video. Anyways. <laughs> One of my duties at the clinic was to take phone calls. Patients like me on the phone because I have a nice voice and I'm basically completely unflappable. And they felt happy to tell me things. A vital skill in the wang biz. One day, a man called. This was not unusual. Hello, he said. I need to see one of your nurses about my, er, my chap. Radio, sir, I said. Are you experiencing any symptoms that you're concerned about? It's just a yes or no kind of questions. Well, he said, and I instantly felt a dark and terrible energy pulse down the phone line. Well, sort of, but, uh, it's not symptoms of anything. It's just... I would come to regret what I said next. Is everything all right, sir? Well, there was a pause. I heard fidgeting. I got a yeast infection. Phew, easy peasy. Yeasties are easy to fix. I sounded reassuring and buoyant. There's nothing to worry about, sir. If you don't want to get anything over the counter from the chemist, we can... No, no, no. That's not the problem. Listen. He sounded serious. Listen. I'll just tell you what's the matter and you'll see what I mean. This is where, whenever I tell a story, I like to ask the listener to play a game with me. The game is called, Where Would You Tap Out? I'd have already tapped out by going to the chemist and getting some canister. I don't want any chemicals on my chap, so I decided to go for a home remedy. Internet said garlic was good for yeast infections, and I've got a ton of garlic, so I figured that'd be alright. I made sympathetic noises. Home remedies for yeast infections are normal, and garlic actually is quite effective. Oh good, I said. I wasn't sure how much to use, but... I figured I have a lot of garlic usually, so I minced the whole bulb. The dark energy wafting down the phone intensified. I packed it all over my, uh, you know, my knob. I made a poultice and packed it all over the head like a hat. But I wasn't sure how long to keep it on. About now is where I tap out. I'd be like, well, good luck with that. <laughs> See you later, bye! I couldn't say anything. I didn't want to scare him off by sounding judgmental. So I just duct taped it all on. Wrapped duct tape all around it. Still with us? Tapped out yet? Yeah, I did. Just just for the record. So, uh, that worked. Kept it on nice and tight, and I left it on overnight. Overnight. All night with your cock mummified in garlic paste like some sort of fiendish chicken Kiev. <laughs> but, uh, when I took it off in the morning, garlic... Well, garlic is... Caustic, I said before I could stop myself. Garlic is caustic. Yeah, yeah it is, he said, sounding cheerful, that I too understood the way of garlic. So I unwrapped my dick and it looked like, well, kind of melted. I sat silent on the phone. I'd already missed six other calls, watching them sail by the, on the other line while this saga unfolded. So I figured, he continued the terrible juggernaut barreling unstoppably through this phallic disaster, I should probably exfoliate it. Exfoliate, I echoed weakly. Yeah, said this abject human disaster, misinterpreting my echolalic my expression of horror as hearty encouragement. So I had to look around the kitchen. He was in the kitchen for all this, so for anything that I could use, and I got my Brillo pad. For anyone not in the UK, that's what we call one of these. The green side of a sponge, you know what I'm talking about. I must have betrayed myself and given a gasp of horror at that point, because he quickly reassured me, No, no, it's okay, it was a new one before going on to describe scrubbing the infected area to remove the alkaline chemical burn that he'd inflicted on his poor blameless cock. So, you want to come in because of this? I said, assuming he'd want a new dick by this point. No, 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 he said jovially again. No, it's all fine, it's just my knob's all gone. Well, it looks ca kind of like camo print now. I was wondering if you could do anything about it looking like camo print. No, sir. No. 
Neither we nor anyone else can do anything about your camel print garlic cock mistake. <laughs> it's uh, kind of a creepy pasta. I don't think that that really happened in real life, but you never really know. I mean, people have done weird things. Weird things in this life, but uh, the duct tape is kind of where I lost it. There were some funny points in the story. Uh, mummified, horrible chicken Kiev or whatever the fuck it was. It's kind of funny. Uh, definitely not one of the worst things I've read on the internet. You want to know what the worst thing I read on the internet is? It was from a bug catching forum where a bunch of uh, gay men were talking about how they would unknowingly inflict HIV on other people. They'd find that like super hot that they gave somebody else HIV. Like that's 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 the sort of shit that makes me sick to my stomach. This it's unfortunate, you know, but one less cock on the earth. Who's gonna notice, you know? <laughs> This fidget spinner butt plug. Uh, it's a butt plug. It's also a fidget spinner. Not much else to say about it. Fidget spinners have, uh, gone out of control. Or had gone out of control. Really, they're past their prime now. If this butt plug was made three months ago, I'd, I'm sure they'd be flying off the shelves. And anyways, don't your cheeks get in the way? I don't really know. I, I've never, uh, had any experiences with butt plugs and the like. But I think that your cheeks are going to stop the, the fidget spinner from spinning. Because, like, that little... That bulbous part is what goes in your butt, right? And then there's, like, a flat disc to stop it from going in your butthole. So that flat disc probably rests on your butthole, but that doesn't give any room for the, the fidget spinner to spin. Does it? Maybe it does. I don't know. If you, like, spread your, your butt wide enough? All right. I can't think about this anymore. I don't want to talk about it. We're, we're done here. <laughs> Seen it. Old. Next, this sweet photo of people holding hands. Are you sure they're people? I guess they are. Uh, it's a peanut butter and jelly. Jelly lady peanut butter man, um, all together, holding hands. I, I guess the the man's hands aren't closed because he's, n he's just not that into her, you know, which makes me a little bit sad. But um, sometimes that's, that's how it goes in relationships. One person drops out before the other one. Um, is this one of the worst things on the internet? Definitely not. It's kind of nice in its own way. A little gross, a little weird. I can't say uh, I would have thought of it or that I understand it, but it's definitely not one of the worst things on the internet. We are we are losing steam quickly in this list. I hope they've distributed some more disgusting things for the bottom because, um, yeah, I've not been impressed for just a minute with anything here. Number 15, the sex robot that got broken at a text conference. A tech conference. I do remember this story popping up in my Twitter, and uh, I gave it a little chuckle, and that's basically all that it deserved. If you pack a, a sex robot in a room full of men, what do you think's gonna happen, you know? People are gonna pull on its nips and shit, like... Oh my god, I can't believe they broke our sex robot. Yeah, no shit. They molested the sex robot so much that it breaks before anyone can actually use it. Sex doll Samantha was left filthy and in need of repairs after being mounted by excitable men. <laughs> oh god. First of all, I'm glad that it wasn't used before everybody went over and uh, rubbed their hands all over it. But yeah, how can you... One, how can you be surprised that the sex doll was broken? Two, how can you call what happened to the sex doll molestation? She has no will of her own. It's a doll. Uh, the fact that I would even call it a her is a weird thing to me. It's an it. It's a fucking amalgamation of silicone that they just laid on a couch and they were like, Hey, come over and squeeze some fake titties! And everybody's like, okay! And then they're like, stop! You're molesting her! How can you do this? Well, uh, because you fucking left it out there for people to go squeeze her tits! What the fuck is wrong with you people? Jesus Christ! It's completely to be expected, you know? You ever been around a fucking room full of horny men? Me either, but, uh, <laughs> all it takes is one, and you just extrapolate that shit. And it's not additive, it's multiplicative, you know? They just get more aggressive because of the other men around them. So it's like a, it's like a, a giant orgy with a pile of silicone in the middle, which, um, it's not something I want to be a part of. I'm glad I wasn't there at a tech conference nonetheless. These are like those... Those nerds, you know, that don't get laid and they just have all this bent up testosterone and the nerd, the nerd rage just overtakes them, bro. Probably one of them just tweaked her titty so hard because he, 
He hadn't felt one in almost 10 years. And that's, that's the sad part of the story to me. 16! This is Pennywise butt art. So, uh, it's Pennywise painted on someone's butt. Let's watch the video. Hooray! And there's weird, like, theremin music in the background. I don't think it's butt art. I think it's a pair of shorts with Pennywise on it. I don't want to hear the theremin music again, thank you. Um, it might be butt art. I mean, I'm not really sure. It's... it's hard to tell. Either way, it's not the worst thing on the internet. Um, if you... if you painted your butt like a giant pair of boobs, then maybe that still wouldn't be the worst. That would that would just make me laugh. Um, <laughs> it's if you paint your body anyway. It's 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 not the worst thing on the internet. Are you kidding me? You go to the deep web. I'll show you some stuff that fucking is the worst thing on the internet. Although I guess technically technically the deep web is yeah it definitely is. But um, yeah I don't I don't really get what they're trying to go for here. Are you supposed to be scared or or what's happening I didn't watch the new it movie but um even the old miniseries seems like a piece of shit the book was just okay I don't know why it's taken off in the way that it has and I think it kind of missed its mark too you know a couple years ago there's people dressed up like cr clowns running through the woods trying to stab people and then they're like okay that all died down now let's release a creepy clown movie it's like okay I think I think you guys are your marketing team needs a little bit of help over there. I don't understand Pennywise butt art. I don't understand uh, Pennywise as a whole. The the it phenomenon is uh, something that has flown over my head, I suppose. Definitely not one of the worst things on the internet. I can't believe we have so long to go in this fucking list. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill myself before it's over. This tattoo of Pickle Rick in a vagina. I'm Pickle Rick! Ah, it's so meme -y. You'd have to be really intelligent. Uh, you have to have an IQ of over 200 to understand what this meme is all about, okay? Rick and Morty is only for the most intelligent. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's not a very creative tattoo. I think it's a man. It, it looks hairy at the top there where they haven't shaved it. But yeah, he's got uh, a myriad of stupid tattoos. Shitty tattoos that don't fit together in any way. There's like a mouse. A mouse eating something dumb, probably. There's a, a pot of honey, and then he's got a giant pickle rick and a vagina. So, um, I guess they are mismatched. They are matching in that they are mismatched. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know. Not one of the worst things on the internet. Rick and Morty fans definitely are lost souls. You know what I mean? They've, they've uh, sunk their entire identity into this show which does have clever writing, it does have interesting characters, but it's not something that you should invest your entire personality into, you know? It's not part of you. It's something that you enjoy, but it doesn't have to be part of you. And if I hear another person come up to me with some sort of non sequitur, I'm Pickle Rick! Wubba wubba dum dum! I'm gonna fucking punch him in the mouth. This guy on 4chan who posted a recipe for Sleepy Time Chicken. <laughs> oh boy, it's basically a NyQuil covered chicken, isn't it? Let's check out the post. Okay, anonymous posts. You guys want to see my sleepy time chicken? If this is a fucking ramen Sunday thread. Nope, first two ingredients, NyQuil. You're horribly mistaken. Cooking time was shorter and more flavorful. Sell by April 6, 2017. Dear God, this is OC. Oh, see! And then he's got his uh, his chicken in a big bowl of soup there. Or a big, <laughs> a big pot of NyQuil, as the case may be. You're goddamn right it's OC. About halfway done. I swear to god I dreamed this thread last night. Yeah, I was surprised. I was afraid we were going to be dealing with NyQuil caramel at the end, but it surprisingly stayed liquid the whole time and actually boiled. These are the last hours of CK. Are you going to put a spin on this? The menthol was boiling off and cleared my sinuses, like sticking your head in a steaming pot, but with Vicks. You better not throw out the broth when you're done. Make part two, where you make a soup out of it. These are things to live for, Anon. Have your life alert bracelet ready. OP needed to go to the hospital, hospital with food poisoning. Prank cancelled. I'm just glad we're here 
in CO to get a better experience on the other side today. God bless you all. Is this food poisoning or overdose? Food and medicine have been crossed. Still alive, I'll plate it up. I don't know why you feel the urge to put on airs and use brand name cough syrup. <laughs> That's true, man. You could get an industrial size one from CVS or some shit. Amazing. I salute you for thinking this up and going through with eating something that looks like it came, came out of Shrek's anus. Make sure to tell one other person what you're doing and to check up on you if you happen to die from this. <laughs> we both are. Presentation is key. He, this guy's ready, dude. He's got two more full bottles of NyQuil. I guess he thought maybe it would boil off or something like that. Or maybe he's just addicted to cough syrup. <laughs> His liver must look like shit. It's so fucking gross, goddamn. Green NyQuil. Pig fucking disgusting. <laughs> Use red. I didn't know there were different colors of NyQuil. I guess because I'm uh, red green colorblind. This whole thread built up to this one post. Which is basically uh, NyQuil in whiskey, in chicken, in a cup. <laughs> what the fuck? I shouldn't have tested you. Every day we stray further from God's light. I feel like I'm watching someone build an elaborate Rube, Rube Goldberg machine that kills him at the end. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably the best post on this thread. Smile like a donut. What did he mean by this? It means make your mouth into a circle, stupid. Still alive, my liver's process worse than this. That's disgusting. 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 You disgust me beyond words. I'm out of ideas, but I'm staring at our French press. Isn't this how you make meth? No, but we're getting close. <laughs> the best part of waking up is dying in your sleep. <laughs> oh, Anon, please love yourself. Oh, it's happening. You don't have to do this. That's probably enough. Honest question, how drunk are y'all right now? I'm driving back to my place in a few hours. Only a few glasses of Bushmills in me. Speaking of, gonna pour another. OP, I'd seriously advise against driving in your current state. <laughs> And then there were no more posts, because OP fucking died. Quite an interesting thread. I'm glad that was archived. Um, but yeah. Worst thing on the internet? Why would you call this the worst thing on the internet? I'd say this is one of the best things on the internet. Hooray for OC. Good job, 4chan. Still cooking up that OC. Still cooking up that sleep time chicken. If I ever have trouble getting to sleep, I'm gonna be like, Alright, well let's boil some NyQuil. Throw some fucking chicken in there. <laughs> so yeah. Interesting. But, uh, not really interesting to spend more time than we already have on it, so, well, we'll move along. We've already fucking spent way too much time, and we're only to number 18. So, let's check out number 19. The girl who used her boyfriend's balls as a beauty blender. Y'all dare me to post a video of using Damon's nuts as a beauty blender? <laughs> oh my god. And you can tell by all the piercings in her face that she's just like, She's too edgy for words, bro. Check me out, I'm using my, my boyfriend's balls to put makeup on my face. And then your boyfriend has makeup on his balls, which also makes him kinda gay, I hate to tell ya. Not gonna watch the video because I'm not interested in seeing some dude's balls. But uh, there she is! There she is, the, the makeup balls beauty queen. <laughs> uh, it's, that's trying a little too hard. They top load this list, hard as fuck. 20! Pikachu, speaking like a person. Aww. That was a really weird part in that Pokemon movie, wasn't it? Let's go ahead and watch it again. Hopefully we can avoid a copyright strike. Something like that. But yeah. Um, Detective Pikachu is going to be voiced by... Um, what's his face? What's his face? What's his fucking face? God damn it, I had to look it up. It's Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at things. Okay, here we go. Pika! That's true, Pikachu. <laughs> and the whole theater fucking gasping. What the fuck? Um, here's a an interesting bit of Pokemon theory, fan fiction, uh, lore, whatever you want to call it. Uh, initially, Pikachu was meant to, like, learn to start talking in the anime, according to Pokemon's creator. 
So Pokemon just start out uh, saying their own names, but it, you spend enough time with them and eventually they, they learn the human language, which kind of makes sense in a way, I guess. I mean, Pokemon as a whole doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but that's sort of the beauty of it, isn't it? So if Pikachu spent 20 fucking years with Ash, then why wouldn't he learn to start talking? Meowth learned to talk in like less than a year, I think. Did it to impress some lady Meowth who then thought he was a freak because he talked like a human. Totally plausible. I don't understand why the whole the whole theater blew up. Now that Pikachu's done it once, I hope he keeps talking. I hope you can't even shut him up. I hope he's just like that weird sidekick in every fucking anime. <laughs> they always have the, the cute sidekick, you know? Oh, I only want Pikachu to say Pikachu forever. Nah, fuck that. I'm sure he's got a lot going on in his little rat brain, okay? Worst thing on the internet? Definitely not. Fuck you, BuzzFeed. Number 21, the dude who really wants to fuck the Granny Queen from A Bug's Life. I don't I don't even know what to say about that, really. A Bug's Life was released so long ago, and there are some people really fanboying hard over the Granny Queen. I guess because she could produce, like, thousands of children at the same time. They'd all be taken care of by the, the other ants. You wouldn't have to do anything except make the kids. Which, you know, sounds pretty cool, in theory, but... On the, on the flip side of that, you'd also probably have to be an ant. Otherwise, if you're like a human, you know, you just you just crush her with with the dick that is like 10,000 times bigger than she is. <laughs> I know you want to fuck the granny queen from a bug's life. We've gotten your confession 385 fucking times. We get it. You love fucking wrinkly old ant asses. Stop fucking submitting it. I'd like to propose that this text post is culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant enough to be preserved in the Library of Congress. <sighs> oh god, the internet does go too far sometimes. Sometimes. I mean, I'd say that it's just a, it's just a prank, bro, if he didn't submit it that many times. Like, he submitted it to the dirty Disney confession thing 385 times, apparently. Probably not that much. Probably more like 20. Because I don't know how many people have dirty Disney confessions and how many people are keeping track of said confessions. It's gone beyond the point of being a prank, is what I'm saying. I don't, I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't trust it. I'm going to tell you right now. Next. 22 anime girls with real human teeth photoshopped on. <laughs> that is pretty disturbing. I never thought to uh, look something like this up. <sighs> but all these people that are going around talking about 3D PD, Maybe they have something right. Who knows, you know? Because all you have to do is take a, a real person's teeth and put it on an anime girl. And all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. That's horrifying. That's... <laughs> I don't even have the words for what it is. I kind of want to see more examples of it now. Just because it's so, like, off-putting and weird. Worst thing on the internet? I don't think so. It makes me laugh. Most of these just kind of make me laugh. A little bit of giggling. 23! Meat Cubes! <laughs> hey cock, I wanted to share my idea with some of you. When I make some soup, it's way too hot, and I hate waiting and burning my mouth. Regular ice cubes water it down, so I added some of the meat and stock to make meat cubes that cool down and add flavor at the same time. This, this is not one of the worst things on the internet. I mean, the idea of it is pretty disgusting, especially with the, the fat floating on top. I think that's the already frozen meat cubes, which makes it look pretty disgusting. But if you uh, put it in a soup, it's probably delicious. It doesn't water down your soup. This belongs on like a life hacks list, doesn't it? For people that hate waiting and also hate burning their mouth. Everybody hates burning their mouth. I, however, am, am of the, the mind that patience makes the, the heart grow fonder or some shit like that. So you just, you just leave the soup in front of you for five minutes. If you really want to get a little sippy sip, just blow on it. You'll be fine. It's going to warm you up for when, when the soup is ready to be consumed. And you just hold it up to your face and drink it all down. And your tummy gets up that warm feeling. Oh, soup is super good food. Let me tell you that. But Carl Malone don't want no computer virus in his soup. True. True. The ice cubes with meat in it is a little bit weird. But if you just want to make some ice cubes from uh, beef broth or chicken broth, whatever you got then it's it's probably a really good idea. If he likes it, then then he likes it. Fuck you. <laughs> Let him have his meat cubes and the ice cubes. That's cubeception, bro. Anyways, not one of the worst things on the internet. Uh, let's make a life hacks list, BuzzFeed. 
Let me tear apart your life hacks. 24. This American Shiro who butt chugged a Mountain Dew. I don't... I don't understand why you would butt chug a Mountain Dew in the first place. I mean, the caffeine and the sugar is going to hit you a lot faster because it's like absorbed through your large intestine. People used to do that with alcohol. You take a 40 ounce and you get a beer bong and you just fill your butt up with beer. And then uh, you try not to stand up for as long as you're as long as you're able to. This is this is about the edgiest shit I ever seen, dude. If you just threw some Doritos in her butt, you'd have a gamer sweat dream. <laughs> uh, I don't really understand. She's wearing like bunny ears. Maybe it's Halloween or something like that. But yeah, on Halloween you should butt chug a beer, like I said. And then on her ass, she's written two words, which is just two words. Which the two words might be referring to the two words themselves. Two words. Or it could be something like Mountain Dew. Code Red. Baja Blast. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's probably one of the worst things on the internet. Um, it's something that I could have gone without seeing, that's for sure. I have a lot more questions than answers right now. Does it compare to any of the the shit in like the first five or ten that we looked at? Definitely not. Uh, the last one for this video, because this, this shit is getting way too long, we're gonna have to do it in two parts. This is gonna be the husband who used a menstrual cup to measure rice. What is this doing in the rice? I used it to measure the rice last night. It said three cups of rice. Uh, it said three cups of, of menstrual blood, which, uh... Really, I didn't, I didn't know a whole lot about a menstrual cup. This is not a commonly used or known thing, so I don't blame that dude for using it to measure rice. Hey, I need a cup. Hey, look, here's a cup. You're not supposed to use that cup. What, what the fuck? Why is it sitting with the rest of the dishes? <laughs> Do you think he went and dug like under the bathroom sink where I would think a menstrual cup would be in order to, in order to measure out the rice? No. It's probably sitting there amongst the other cups. And he's like, oops, oops, I picked the wrong one. And really the wife should be eternally grateful. He didn't projectile vomit when uh, he t when she told him about it. We should see the whole post. We need some context here. She sends him a sick, sick face and he's like, what? And she's like, it's my menstrual cup, you dick pod. And he's like, what? Menstaloni soup? <laughs> Menstaloni soup. <laughs> That's pretty gross. It's minestrone soup, you wanker! Google menstrual! Oh, fuck! Well, I think that this woman should be, uh, grateful that her husband could share this experience with her. You know, he didn't vomit everywhere. She's like, it makes me sick that we ate that rice. Well, it's from your body, bitch. You, you shouldn't be sick at all. The husband's just like, oh, whoops. It happens. Also, why'd you leave it with the rest of the cups? <laughs> It's a hilarious thing that happened on the internet, but it's not one of the worst things on the internet. Whatever, bro. Just just eat a little a, a little uh, rice from a vagina cup that was previously filled with uterus blood. Yes, it, it's foul, but uh, I could I could name probably a thousand things that are more foul than that on the internet that I've seen probably just this week scrolling down my Twitter timeline. <laughs> Anyways. That's going to be the end for part one of this video. Uh, I don't want to go for, for too fucking long because, yeah, this is just ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount of stuff that I thought I could get through. I was like, I'll spend less than one minute a piece on each of these, and, and that's not the case at all. So we'll keep it going next week. Um, come back to find out what 26 through 50 is. Hopefully it's going to end up picking up a little bit more because a lot of this shit's been pretty disappointing. You want me to be real honest with you? But, um, yeah, I think they're saving some good stuff for the end. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I've been Brandon Date, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Any of those buttons that you would like to push, they are down there for your pushing pleasure. But please do uh, try to avoid the dislike one, unless you really didn't like the video. And then, uh, please tell me why or what I can do better, because I am looking to improve this series and make it a regular installment on my channel. It's really fun for me to do. I've also got Twitter, Discord, Patreon links, Facebook links, all down in the description. If you want to hit me up on any of those, I would be eternally grateful for your support in any of these ways. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching once more. I've been Brandon Dayton. This has been BuzzFeed Bunk. I shall see you 
in the next one with the continuation of this list. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, 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 see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.